Hey everyone, I'm Corinne Jones with Red River, and in this video, we show you some of Microsoft Teams' newest collaboration features. So with me today, we have David Prismara, hey our fax guy, and Brian Charles, our demo Hello. guy. So Dave, let's start with you. What's new with Microsoft Teams? Hey, the three new features we're gonna talk about today are the three by three video, pop out chat and raise your hand feature. So with the new features Microsoft rolling out, three by three, for example, helps meetings be more collaborative with each other. The pop out feature helps you organize your desktop as you're working with people. And then we have the raise hand feature, which provides another avenue of participating in a meeting. Uh, some use cases for that would be uh, to get the presenter's attention. If you got something to say, maybe in a large meeting. Uh, another example would be if the presenter has a question they want to ask the group, uh, the participants can raise their hand for confirmation. Yeah, so what you guys are talking about is this. Being able to see more than four participants in a meeting is the highest rated feature on the Microsoft user voice, and they're starting to deliver on those requests, starting with the three by three. Today, you're, when you start a meeting, you should be able to see up to nine people on the screen at any given time. And this is really important for being able to see that visual feedback when you're looking to see how well you're presenting in a meeting. With pop-out chats, one of the things you might have noticed if you hover over a contact in Teams, you'll see this option for pop-out. Once you click it, it'll create a separate window that you can go ahead and put wherever you want on your desktop. A shortcut to that is just simply double-clicking a contact and you'll be able to take Dave with you. Hey, Brian, I got a question. I actually saw that you had a question, so you really didn't need to verbalize it. For now, chats are the only thing you could pop out, whether it be one on one or group chat. But coming soon, you'll be able to pop out meetings. And if you brought calling into Teams, you'll be able to pop that out as well. And Brian, where do you find all this information? How do we know what's coming up and what's new with Microsoft Teams? I look at the Office 365 roadmap, as well as look at the Microsoft Teams user voice. It's a great place to see what features people are requesting, request your own features, and see what's coming down the line. Well, that's it for today. If you have any questions, make sure you leave it in the comment section below, and also make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on new Microsoft Teams trainings every single Tuesday. Thank you.